Hillary Clinton has taken a lot of heat over the first couple of months of her campaign, a lot of it from the media, for basically keeping the press at arm's length and holding tightly choreographed events that aren't open to the general public. But according to the Democratic frontrunner, all of that has been part of her plan. I hadn't been in politics since I became Secretary of State. I had certainly followed closely what was happening uh, in our country because of the Great Recession. But I wanted that touch and that feel that you could only get from sitting and talking and looking at somebody. Hillary Clinton doesn't apologize for the initial soft launch of her campaign and says she's now happy to take on any questions she gets, be it her plans for the economy or questions surrounding foreign donations to the Clinton Foundation while she was Secretary of State. You know, I don't know if we have enough time in this interview to debunk all of the allegations that were made by people who are uh, wielding the partisan uh, acts. So what do you say to a New Hampshire voter that perhaps is a supporter of yours but has taken a bit of pause when they hear these criticisms, questioning your ethics, questioning your believability? Well, I say judge me on my whole record. And in fact, what people in New Hampshire talk to me about is the cost of child care, about their student loans, about how they can start and grow a new business. Clinton also says she is not sold on the Trans-Pacific Partnership deal that the president wants but failed to get through Congress last week. I'm still going to judge the deal at the end of the day is whether I think it's good for America. And on its face, you think it needs some work? I do. I do, because I think that the questions that were raised are ones that have to be answered. Well, speaking of questions, it's fair to assume there will be plenty more coming her way about the issues that have dogged her campaign over the last couple of months. But she says that's what a campaign is all about and promises that we'll see plenty of her in New Hampshire as we move forward. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.